It's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episode three of the Demon Girl Next Door. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Uh, rain. Oh my. I love yeah. it when it rains, but still. You go. Wake up. Of course, Lilith. She's definitely forgotten. I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. When you went to the mall. <laughs> Only five points. <laughs>
Yeah, because she's talking to Lilith. It's kind of like the Velvet Room from Persona. Soda. Then, you know, you could just dive into Momo's dreams and then try to kick a butt there. I, I, I'm just saying, but I, I don't wouldn't. I don't think Momo would like to die in her dream and then ish non not Catherine. Related. Yeah. Because once you have one, you can't stop. It's like a drug. Because of the fact that she's looking up. <laughs> Bye for real, Lilith. I'm waking up.
a lot but because of the fact that she woke up and didn't write she immediately forgot okay uh -uh. Yeah. But most seriously, can you actually? Yeah, it's a little, um, Mm -hmm. You do that, you go. Good. <laughs> I, I still think Rose should have been the one to, that should have done this and not Yuko. <laughs> Oh, Christ.
Mm-hmm. See, they should talk about that with every other magical girl because you know their outfit gets like trash, and then the following week it's all like nice and pretty again. You be sitting here like, how the hell? But like. That's it. Mm-hmm. Are, are you sure, Momo? Because you don't have to do this. Mom already has the advantage. Mama, are you serious? Oh, uh, oh, uh. What the hell? <laughs> no. I mean, come on, she's the demon girl. She can't use it. Mm-hmm. Always thinking with her stomach. No. <laughs> well, you were talking too fast, and then she was trying to remember what you were supposed to write, and. Uh.
That's true. Not, not actually boil you. Just take your bite. Well, I mean, I think it's really because she cares about you. She feels sorry for you. Maybe she wants to be your friend. I mean, you're kind of both friends in a way since you're hanging out. Girl, you always hungry. That little tiny ass thing. <laughs> That's a good question. We know. Mm -hmm. mm, I thought it would be like a little pinch, you know. Honestly, the second half of the episode was weird as heck, but I liked it, though. Um, <laughs> I still don't know what to say about this. It has funny moments. It's interesting. Her mom is one of those types of moms who's like, yes, write this down for me because, you know, I got to go shopping later. But, I mean, hey, at least she got something at the store. That all that matters at the end of the day. But it was still, like, a really nice episode. I like Lilith a lot. I, I just hope there's more episodes where she gets to actually talk to Yoko and does more interactions with her instead of just like being in the statue the whole entire time. Oh, excuse me. Because the only time we get to see her is really when she comes during like dreams. So, I mean, I want to see her come as a spirit in the real world and just kind of still watch her over, watch over her for, through that. But I don't really think that's going to happen. Then I'm still kind of wondering when the other magical girl is supposed to get here and guide Momo. Because right now with Momo and Yuko, they're playing this game of not uh like uh cat and mouse. That's what they're doing. They're they're sometimes getting to the main thing and then sometimes they're like, mm, no, let's do this. And always it ends up with freaking um Yuko saying, you know, I'll get you next time, magical girl. Now, the interesting thing was, when Momo gave her the wand, I automatically assumed... Hold on. Okay. I automatically assumed that once Momo gave her her wand um, to Yuko, that the wand would have at least transformed into something darker. Like, if any of you have seen um, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, when, um, I don't remember the other character's name, Ludo, I think his name is? Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the, um, finished the entire show in a while. But half of the wine, um, the one got broken, uh, really the star piece, and they transformed into two different types. And then one star got the wand back, it transformed into this really pretty, gorgeous wand that she had 
for like another season because she had like two different generations of the one that was like kind of it was a magical girl s but it was like a little bit of sakura meets sailor moon in a way but i mean you would have assumed that it would have did something like that where you know okay like here we're, we're gonna take the magical girl one and we're gonna all like take turns holding it and it would have adapted to each girl's personality but no it just stayed the same and i mean when it when the power came out of her, it was, instead of this badass long shoot, like, you know how Momo does, it was this teeny tiny little ball, uh, like, a speck. It, it just, like, like I said, like a little freaking pinch. Like, it, to me, it seems like it doesn't, it didn't hurt that much. But to you, go, of course it's gonna hurt a lot because it's different. I mean, there's a lot of things I think Momo and Yugo can teach each other and eventually going into this because we're only three episodes in and I'm guessing this is going to be like at least a 12 episode show. And hopefully that, I mean, as she said, you know, once other magical girls come in, you know, they're not going to be ruthless and kind like me. So when this other magical girl does come and um, assist Momo from what the wiki has told me, because I haven't really looked at anything else for this, um... Maybe that magical girl will want to be ruthless with Yuko. I mean, we're not going to know until we get there, but I feel like maybe she could be a little nice, but then at the same time ruthless with her and trying to say, oh, okay, well, I'm here to kill you just since you failed your mission of trying to kill Momo. And, and this is what you get. That's it. I mean, you know, even with like Momo, not Momo, Yuko asking Lilith like, oh, okay, well, how did you and all the other ancestors before me do with magical girls? And she's like, she avoided the conversation to like, oh, hey, look at these lights. Like, you know, it's been bad ever since, even starting with Lilith up until Yuko. And it, it is kind of sad that, you know, magical girls have been kicking these women, these girls, butt, but like, you will want to like, at least have one hope that at least one girl on, you know, Yoko's side would have possibly won one, just one. But no, I mean, and, and like I said, I feel like I said, um, Rio should have been the one to do this. I, as much as I love Yuko, Yuko is like the most funny, um, very relative character because she, <laughs> she's really like, I think every person who watches this show can see a little bit of them in her. But it's just to me, she tries and she doesn't like essentially get it. While I think Rio, um, uh, she's more, um, I don't like, well, she is more intelligent than her older sister, but you would assume that, like, really just the way their personalities are, like, Rio would be the oldest and then Yuko would be the youngest because of the way they interact with each other and how one is really more, like, kind of meant to do this while the other one is like okay she's actually going to do it first and this one's like I, I don't know what to do because of reasons but yeah I mean it would have probably been a little bit different if Rio possibly did it with Momo instead of Yuko I mean it still would have had probably funny moments but not like a lot I think it would have been really dark and probably different but you know we'll never really know but yeah maybe another magical if the other magical girl comes in and Rio gets her demon powers then fine that'll be totally fine I'll, be, I'll accept it other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode three of the demon girl next door if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course <clears throat> i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode four bye